Hi everyone and welcome to Uncharted Collection, Among Thieves, Brutal Difficulty Walkthrough. This is chapter 7, they are coming with us. And we have met up with Chef and Elena, I think it's, he's called Chef, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So this chapter is not really hard and not really long, but uh, oh my god we have a... Uh, we have some tough chapters ahead guys and we have some sequences when you're going to die uh, because the game just puts you in a situation like when you're carrying chef right and you have to escape with him like I had to devise new strategies that I didn't even know were possible just to get through that animation because it just restricts you restricts your movement and then you die, because in Brutal you die with one or two shots. So, this has... I left this uh, part of the gameplay when you have to shoot uh, those cars in the river uh, with the explosives to cross, because it's kind of like a puzzle, it's, right? It's not entirely a puzzle maybe, but it's kind of like a puzzle. So I left the, the, the sequence in, because if not it, it will be just two little sequences. This is a really short chapter, so besides it, it gives me time to, to talk. So I might, I mean wh when would I, when would I will, will be publishing this? I mean really soon after I finish Uncharted 1. So the thing that I was going to say is I might play Assassin's Creed Syndicate but uh, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to feature it in the channel. I mean, why would I do that? It do doesn't have e it doesn't even have a difficulty, right? It's not challenging. It's just maybe maybe you can find some challenge if you do a, a 100. Uh, what was it called when you complete the mission at 100% doing all the the side stuff? Maybe you can find some challenge there, but mostly it's just finding the way to do them because. I don't think you even have a timer in that game, right? No, what, what the fuck am I talking about? You, you don't have a timer, so you can do things at your own pace and you'll still get 100% uh, completion on the missions. I'm pretty sure it's like that, right? I mean, you can fail them, yeah. You can fail the, the some of the side stuff and don't get uh, 100. So I guess that's the challenging stuff. I, I haven't seen some gameplay that it came out and it looks actually really good maybe it's because I like uh, when they when they, it's set it at the industrial revolution and, and I, I like the setting I like it a lot more than unity or oh my god I, I was going to say Assassin's Creed 3 but what is even in the fuck with that game right I, I, and I bought it I bought it for the PS3 guys it was just Jesus fucking Christ! So I might, I might, I might play Syndicate, and I was thinking, how could I approach this game and, and, and bring it to the channel at least to show some gameplay, right? Because, as I mentioned before, uh, there is not a lot of games that are going to come out at this point onwards, like Fallout 4, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, and Star Wars Battlefront. Am I forgetting something? Because I don't think I am. And... Yeah. So if I don't cover one of those games, at least a little, I, I, what, what the fuck am I going to do for the... What the fuck am I going to do for the rest of the year, like... Play all games only? Or replay the same games again? With some other limitation that I can come up with? So I might cover Syndicate, just an announcement, uh, and if I cover it I'm going to try to, to, to do something with uh, with my new section uh, Until I'm Bored, because if I cover it it's going to f be featured in Until I'm Bored, and I will play it Until I'm Bored, because I don't see myself playing it any other way, right? Like. I don't see myself doing a blind playthrough or something like that, it's just... What the fuck is the reason, right? It's just another Assassin's Creed. I don't wanna, like, I, I might talk about it uh, after I get it, 
and I might do a, a little review, not a real review, because I don't care that much for the game, but I might do a review and a, and a better opinion, I mean, after I get it. So I don't want to offend anyone, but it's just, it's basically the same Assassin's Creed, like, every single fucking year we have a new Assassin's Creed and it's the same game with the small changes and somehow they are worse than before like in Unity what a horrible game so this was chapter 7 guys and we'll see each other in chapter 8 okay, we're all clear. is it always like this with him? pretty, pretty much, much.